Because he, I told him I didn't want to do anything, he pushed my head all the way down. This is embarrassing because I threw up on it. Okay, let's move on. my youtube channel if you have not done already click the subscription and click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat and if you haven't done already follow on my social media so you know when i post and when i upload so today is no background information i'm not really going to get into everything today but what i can say is so far my summer's going great and to also look forward to a couple more videos this week and in the future for all you bitches that's judging yes bitch i watch spongebob and what about it but anyways i know y'all like you got got again yes i got got i let a piece of myself go for a DL nigga. Share this video with your aunt, your mommy, your cousin, whoever. It don't matter. If you on the phone with your friend, if you buy your friend, tell her subscribe, all that. Let's get in chill. Just like how all my other story times go, I went to an all boys school. And for all my gays that probably wanted to go to an all boys school too, y'all, it was nothing but a bunch of drama and a bunch of boys that really wasn't sure of themselves at all. We're gonna start off with getting familiar with the names because the names is something y'all should know. And get into it. the boy i'm about to tell y'all about we're gonna name him tj tj was cool tj was like a follower and i realized that everybody in the school child it was a follower a follower real real big if you know me i've been through a lot at this all boys school so if you want to know all my other story times click subscribe first then click the channel so y'all can see like what have i been through with tj tj know that the closet situation he knew me fighting dl boys he knew me talking to some of his homeboys like he knew a lot of that he never tried it but he tried it if you get what i'm saying coming up i was trying to beat the gay allegations real bad but for him i proved it for him i know that's right <laughs> it was like the end of the school year where the whole closet situation had passed through and i was like kind of in a clear because i was really explaining myself tj he was like i told y'all he was cool but he had an android and I never really gave him attention. Like, he was cute, but it was like, that android just was not giving it back in the day. And I was not letting him talk to me with no android. He came to school. He had his little phone in his pocket. He had upgraded and all that. Got a haircut. So I was like, ooh, mommy must have given me some text or she must have got paid. He was showing off his phone, like, all day of school. And this is the end of the year. Before the end of the year, we went to an overnight trip. But it was, like, for about a week. We can go back to school if we actually wanted to after the trip. We didn't have to because it was, like, June. So you can still stay home and all that other stuff. But him, he was still going to school. No, my mother, she made me go to school, too. So I was at the school till the very last day. We were watching movies in the class. So for him, he was bragging, going around, showing everybody his phone. Got I guess trying to make it seem like he the big man on campus. I guess he thought he was a shit because he had the newest phone. I think the newest phone at that time was like the X, I think. I told y'all, I said he was cute. So kind of shot my shot. So I was like, you got A-ball? And he was like, yeah. We in the class, we exchanged numbers. And that day in class, we played A-ball. I told y'all, me being me, I'm the type that's going like shoot my shot then and there. But I wasn't going to shoot it like say i'm gonna subliminally do it so i sent this emoji to his phone he looked at me and laughed and smiled he texted me he was like you gay what hella laughing emoji i started sending more emojis he started going with it it was funny but then it was like mm, he followed for my tricks he followed for my trap so he was sending emojis back i was sending emojis back and then he was like meet me in the bathroom we fucking got him <laughs> but i didn't go in the bathroom i was not doing that in no bathroom so it's like, we can just meet after school. I didn't tell y'all he had a brother, but his brother was in special ed. So I couldn't see him after school because mom didn't want him catching the bus due to his special ed brother. So they didn't catch a cheese bus, but they caught a taxi home every day. He caught the bus sometimes, but I didn't think his brother was there. So we went home, y'all. He had sent me news. For us to be so young, y'all, he was blessed. He was very blessed for about a week. I was trying to meet up at the school. He was trying to meet up in school and me having them high ass standards. It's like, no, I don't have high standards. I didn't have any morals back then, but I wasn't trying to do nothing in no bathroom. I was trying to do something after school, but he wasn't. So this one day his brother went to a program and it was just him, but he caught the bus home that day. We got off the bus. He got off at my stop. We walking down and we talking. We go to his house. He went into his house looking to see if anybody was in there, but his mother was in there. So I was like, well, tell your mother I'm just coming in to play the game. But he was like, no, so we can go to your house. Me being me, I'm not the type, I'm not gonna let you in my house. You're not coming in my house, period. You're not, you're not on there, no. 
when I caught the bus with him, that was the last day of school. After that, I kind of call it quits. We didn't live far from each other. We only lived down the street from each other. So we couldn't find that many places. He didn't have time, I didn't have time. So he sent me like this last text and after that, it was that. So y'all, it's the summer, everything cool. I even had a girlfriend during this time, like the whole summer. Until this one day in July, I had deleted our texts because even before the summer, I still had a girlfriend. So I was still deleting our texts and all that. I'm cleaning my room. Everything going perfect, like cleaning my room, making sure I'm good. I get a text from his number. He like, where you at, what you doing? How ironic, it's morning. Why are you calling me in the morning? I was like, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing for real. I'm cleaning my room. I was up. He gonna say, can you come over? I instantly got happy inside. I was like, Ugh. I even brushed my teeth that morning, but I still did it again. I don't care. I had my hooper shorts on. I had put me on like this, this t-shirt. I made sure I smell good and all that. Like he was not going to catch me on an off day, especially if you haven't seen me all this long time in school. You're going to definitely see me on my day one and I'm going to look good. I'm walking down to his house and I am cheesing really bad. I'm like, this like, I know, like you couldn't tell me nothing that day. You couldn't tell me nothing. Whole time, I had a girlfriend. I'm walking down and I get to his house and I text him, I said, I'm outside. He gonna say, all right, well, give me a second. The door unlocked, but I'm gonna tell you when to come in. He ended up telling me that, yeah, you can come in, it's unlocked. I go in and y'all, the house was a fucking mess. I go sit down and he was upstairs for like five, 10 minutes. Just, I don't know what he was doing. So he came down and he sat down and he looked at me. But we just looking at each other because we don't even know what to do. For me, I had experience, but for him, for him to do it with a boy, he never had experience ever. You don't know what you're doing, but I know what I'm doing. But I'm not gonna make the first move because I refuse to make the first move. Even then, I still was a dumb bitch, but I still had my head on strong. Don't ever get it fucked up. Period! 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 We sitting there. And he didn't say anything. He's just staring at me. But he ends up pulling his phone out. And he texts me. Yo, we're sitting next to each other and this boy decides to text me. That is stupid. Why text me if I'm sitting directly next to you? What sense does that make? He gonna text me, he gonna say, what you trying to do? I text him back, I'm like, I don't know what you wanna do. He was like, put my pants down and see what's up. So I did that. And y'all, I'ma just keep saying it, he was blessed. I don't know, for us to be so young, he was so blessed. Like, y'all, it was so thick, it was so big, y'all. It was just, oh my goodness gracious. He pulled it down and I went in. I think back then, I was like a rookie. I didn't really have nothing that morning because I didn't want to have like the little gag me. But like now, I'm perfect, I'm perfected now, I don't care. But back then, I didn't know what I was doing. But that morning, I had like, Pepsi for breakfast. I didn't have nothing to eat, but I just drank Pepsi before I left the house. Mind you, as I told y'all, it's so big. So I'm like 10, 15 minutes in and he hasn't done anything. I'm still going in and he grabbed my butt and I'm like, no, I already know where it was going to lead to. So I had to tell him like, no, I'm not, we're not doing that. At that time, I was new to the game. I didn't know what I was doing. And I've heard so many stories at that time of paint. If you're in the LGBT community you know what pain is i wasn't gonna pay him i refused to pay him i'm not paying nobody that's embarrassing to shit on somebody i think that's a stretch like move his head i'm like no you're not doing anything so i still go on five minutes go by he's still he touching my thigh he's still going in i'm like no you're not we're not we're not fucking we're not no <laughs> because he, i told him i didn't want to do anything he pushed my head all the way down. This is embarrassing because I threw up on it. Okay, let's move on. It wasn't like throw up, it was like spit up. It was like, y'all, it smelled like Pepsi. I told y'all I was a rookie, so it was embarrassing for real. Like he get a towel and he sit on it, he moved, like he cleaned it up and then he, and then he sat on the towel and I still kept going. It's like about an hour. I'm like, I'm done. I didn't have it. Like, I, I have it now. He pulled his pants up, and we sit next to each other, and then I walk back home. I never say I'm a text or anything. I go home. I lay down. It's never really much to do. Mind you, I'm like 15. I think this is like during, this not during quarantine yet. This is like the summer before quarantine. I take a nap. Two hours roll by, and I got like two missed calls from him. So I call him back, and he was like, come back over. So we run it back again. <laughs> I didn't stay over for no hour this time. I stayed over for like 15 minutes. But this time, we didn't do it in this living room. 
I did it in the kitchen, on the basement steps. Like, it, I just did it. I think I did it everywhere in this house, but it was like downstairs, never upstairs. His brother called him and he made me go in the basement. And he had a dog down there, but his dog was in the cage. Thank God his dog was in the cage, because I'm telling you now, if that dog was not in that cage, I was not going in that basement. I had got out from the basement, and we were still running it back. Still doing it. I'm still going in. I'm going in. And he pulls out his phone, and he starts recording. At the time, I wasn't the type to record. But in that moment, I did. I think after I had took his phone and sent it to my phone, that was it. I wasn't doing that no more. He had sent me a text when I went home after that second go round. He was like, oh, you best I ever had. I know. I know I'm the best. We're going to fast forward like a year because after he sent me that, oh, you're the best I ever had little text, he blocked me. He had sent me a text during quarantine. I had got big as I don't know what. It's like May 28th. He texted me off of a fake page. It was like some some name. He was so childish with it. If I have receipts, I'm gonna post the receipts. But he was like, oh, this such and such cousin, this TJ cousin, TJ wanna fight you or something like that. I'm like, wow, why he wanna fight me? Um, oh, because he said you told somebody just that in the third. I know in the back of my head that that is him. But he's so cringy and he DL, he don't know that I know it's him. And he don't know that I know how to play the game back around the same way. He playing games all like, oh, he said he gonna fight you, but I'm gonna give him the phone, this, that, the third. His cousin gave him the phone and he texted off the fake page, oh, like, I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna just do this, that, and the third to you, all this, that. And I was like, I never told anybody. What are you talking about? I will not lie to you. I was messy. I definitely was messy type that I did tell people, but I only did it if you played with me. We exchanged numbers again, but I still had his number saved. He didn't have my number saved. He blocked my number. I thought, that it was gonna be like how it is any other time. He sent me what he gonna send me. He sent me the, okay, I can't lie. I'll send something back. And then he get his nut and then I get mine and that's it. But it'll be over the phone rather than in person. Cause I haven't seen him for a whole year. I think he had a job because when I had seen my art, she was like, you should come over to my house. And I was like, well, you only down the street, so it's not going to take much. But he was like, oh, I don't live down there no more. I live somewhere else. He lived over West. He was like, Oh, I'm going to send you an Uber and I'm going to send you to, to and from, but I just need you to come over here. So I was like, all right. I don't know if I ever told y'all, but I'm literally a night owl. I'll stay up all night and sleep throughout the day. He texts me in the morning and I was supposed to see him in the morning. At this time, my mother is gone to work. My little brother, he was on the same sleep schedule as me. So he was asleep by eight and he don't get up till five. My little brother sleep. I'm over gone at work. Everybody gone. It's just me in the house. It's me and him, but he sleep. Y'all, I remember this like it was yesterday. But wow, what what a moment in history. I'll never forget that. I won't forget that one. <laughs> I'm getting ready. And still at this time, I was kind of curious about losing it, but I was not ready to lose it. So I never douched. I never did anything, but I still cleaned. I still smell good, so don't do too much. I just did not know what I was doing. But I'm grown now, so I... Yeah, I'm grown. The Uber come, we send each other a little text. And I was telling him, like, I can't wait to see you. This and the third. I get to his house, and he gave me this look. I told y'all, I had gained so much weight over time in the year because I've been home for so long. Because we've been home for so long, I've gained so much. Not only that, like, I'm not the same like how I was last summer. So, of course, I gained more weight on top of the quarantine weight. So, I was piled up as fuck. He see me, he gave me this look. But I knew for a second that it was a red flag. And, bitch, it wasn't even a house. It was an apartment. But the apartment looked good, though. I'm not even lying. We all in the elevator. And I'm texting him. And he not texting back. He just looking at me. He get out the elevator. And he walks ahead of me. Like, ahead of me. We walk in. We walk into his, his house or whatever. And... His brother is asleep on the couch. As I go in, he like, so I had to sneak in. But it's hard for me to sneak in because I was big. So <laughs> any sudden movement I make, it's like a crack on the floor. So it was like, so I go in his room and y'all, for him to be so judgmental on what I look like, this boy slept on a twin size. It wasn't even a twin size. It was like a small little cot. The cot was like, every bit of half the room his tv was small he had a gaming chair 
and the TV, it was sitting on the dresser. I'm in the corner, right? And he's sitting on the bed. When I tell you this room was so small, this boy lived in a fucking jail cell. It's bad. I get on the phone with my best friend. I'm like, guess who house I'm at? And he wouldn't say, he was like, I was like, never mind. And I had hung up the phone on my best friend. Y'all, I went in and I've had, I've improved over the years. So, y'all, when I tell you I went in on him, I straight, I went in on this boy. So as I'm going in, he decides to grab my thigh. But for me, because I'm so in it, I just let him do it. So he grabbing him, and he grabbing, he grabbing, he grabbing. And then he starts sliding my pants down. I'm telling him, I'm like telling him no, but I'm telling it in like, I want you to do it, but in like a flirty way. So it's like, no, uh, I don't know, I don't know. He is like, come on, please. Like you ain't let me do it last time. I'm still going in, I'm still telling him no. But at the end of the day, I'm like, you only live once. And I wanted to see what the hype was about. We didn't have no lube, no condom. We didn't have, I didn't douche. Y'all, it, it, it was a mess. I think for my first time, it was just the worst time because I didn't know what I was doing. He gets behind and I'm tight. He just put, he just jams it in there. And I'm telling him like, it hurt. You can't do it like that. It's like you're forcing something in there, but I don't know how to explain it, y'all. It was just like, this hurts horribly. For the first time, no, I didn't get it eaten, which I was upset about because I heard the hype was good on that one too. He just spit on it. And like, he tried to go in slow. I felt like I was bleeding. I don't know how to explain it, but it felt like something was opening and I was bleeding. As soon as it, like, as soon as the tip got in, he went, Ham. Y'all, it wasn't pleasing for me. It was mainly pleasing for him. Until like, he slowed down a little bit and then that's when it started to feel good for me, like a few seconds or so. But y'all, it did not go the way that I wanted to. It was really horrible. So he's just going in, just, just, just going in, real hand, just, just. So he stopped and then he wanted me to give him it. And then I did. Afterwards, he was like, all right, you sit on it. Y'all, I, he, I don't think he, got the fact that I was a boy and that I do not have a vagina. It's not that easy. I tried sitting on it. It did not work that way. It did not work that way. He still was in the back. I was arched and it was cool like that for like the first few minutes. Afterwards, I stopped feeling it. It didn't really hurt that bad and it didn't feel good either, but it was just like, I was just letting him do it. After that, he had took it out and then he had made me eat his Yo, that shit did not taste very good. It did not taste very good. That shit tastes like battery acid. That's why I just don't like messing with them DL niggas because I thought for you to be an athlete, you're supposed to drink your water. He did not drink his water and it didn't taste like he ate his vegetables either. So it was like, this doesn't taste good. This is a horrible experience, but it was big. So I give it a C. I was like, let's do it again, but let's like, you know, do it the right way instead of you doing it how you want to do it. So he was like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. I don't... He just trying to brush it off like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, no, nah. like it seemed like he just wanted his nut. He going to say, oh, I'm going to get your Uber. And he was like, I'm only not doing it again because I have a basketball game. He gets his duffel bag. Bitch, his duffel bag don't got shit in it. I can see that it don't got nothing in it because it's empty. Get out the closet, grab it. I was like, okay, that bag is empty, but I never said anything because at the time I wasn't vocal about how I felt. He grabbed this fake little bag and said that he had to go. He set it on Uber to where as he take me home first and then he go to his basketball game. But I don't think he had an actual basketball game. I think that he just didn't want to do anything and he just used me for what he used me for. You know, we sitting down, we waiting and I tried to give him a kiss and he was like, nah, I'm good. Like, he just trying to brush me off. You all look like a bitch. Are you dumb? Matter of fact, let me find the are you dumb. Hit the bitch with the, are you dumb? The Uber come and we're in the Uber. And I asked him, I was like, was it good? Was it this, was it that? He was like, yeah, it was all right, it was all right, it was all right. And I realized in the car, when I sent him that okay text, I was blocked. His phone wasn't turned off, his phone wasn't dead, well, his phone wasn't nothing. But I can tell, like when we were in that Uber going to my house, I could tell I was blocked. He got in my house and I was like, I'm gonna see you later. And he was like, all right. And then, I go home. Instead of me going to my house, I walk down and I turn a block to make it seem like, oh, I didn't give him my real address. When the car drove off, chill, I looked, I was like, 
oh yeah, I'm definitely blocked. And I tried to send him a text like, oh, when we gonna do it again? Yo, I was blocked like shit. I knew he was lying. I knew he was lying. Cause he ain't had no basketball game. That duffel bag was empty. If you actually had a basketball game, why you ain't had no shoes? Why you ain't had no gloves? Well, do you wear gloves for basketball? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. He ain't have nothing. Cause it wasn't shit in that bag and you was lying and you only used me for what you used me for. You lying, bitch. I took that experience with an L and I like chose my DL niggas wisely. And I started using these DL niggas. But y'all, let me tell you, I look like this when he seen me. Last year in June, I looked so much better. Lost weight, clear skin, all that. He got in contact with me. I still got the messages, Miss Girl, bitch. He wanted to link with me. I didn't link with him for the simple fact that like you used me for my body and then, then you're trying to use me for my body again. Or you're now you're kind of realizing my worth in a sense ever since I lost weight and now I look better than what I did before. No, you got me fucked up. I don't know what he doing now. Was it a lesson learned? I definitely learned my lesson because I'm never doing that again, ever doing that again. I know the story time was really short compared to all my other story time, but y'all, I'm getting to it. I'm being consistent, I'm being all that. If you like this story time, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe too. But yeah, till we meet again, see y'all.